Hey everybody, Darren Gum here, unwrapping my Mavic Pro from DJI. I just got in the mail today. Um, so let's just get right into it. Packaging, 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 packaging. The Mavic Pro is supposed to be a tiny little drone. It came in a really big box. However, <sighs> there's not much inside that box. We have extra blades I got because, well, I've never had a big drone. I'm betting I'm going to break it. I got the Fly More bundle instead of just the drone by itself so that I would have extra batteries and it came with some extra stuff. So inside the little box, they were much less wasteful with space and purse. Not very big, which leads us to believe that the Mavic Pro itself will not end up being very big. Very small, divided compartment. Um, good zippers, shoulder strap. Looks like it'll uh, protect from weather a little bit. Quite fashionable. Indiana Jones would be proud to wear such a bag. <clears throat> Getting on into the more stuff, this is more. The Fly More Combo. Not wasteful with space and packaging at this point. We've got the battery charging hub, which allows you to charge four batteries at once. They don't actually charge four batteries at once. It just charges whichever one has the most power first, and then the next most powerful battery second. Not very big. Four slots. You plug the charger that comes with the Mavic into the bottom. And it also has a micro USB port, which, come to find out, actually is for updating the charging docks firmware. So everything needs updates nowadays. Got a car charger and two extra batteries. Comes charged, very low. Batteries to last longer if they're stored at 40 to 60%. Um, the Fly More Combo Pack also comes with two more <coughs> propeller sets. And there's two in each box. Finally, the battery to power bank adapter. This little thing, I had no clue what it was even about when I first saw it. But you plug into an actual battery, the intelligent flight battery, and it's got two little USB ports. So you can recharge your phone and your remote controller or whatever you need. Granted, that will mean you don't get to fly with that battery. The Mavic Pro. This is actually a very small full-size drone. Uh, jumping right in, we have Mavic itself. <clears throat> Comes with two little baggies that have uh, our props in them because there's two props on it, two props not. So it comes with one set to go on it and one extra set. We have the remote controller, books, a charger, and cables, cables, cables. Remote controller, let's see, comes with. The lightning cable installed comes with the micro USB and the USB C, uh, as well as a micro USB to USB for charging the controller or connecting the drone to the controller for firmware updates, which you will definitely have to do. Unfold these first. And those just fold to the front, as you saw. These fold down. I think uh, there is the little port where you go from Wi-Fi to RC as well as uh, the little SD card slot. It does come with a 16 gigabyte micro SD card. On the other side it has the little micro USB port for connecting the drone and the remote or the drone to your computer or whatever you're using to update the firmware. These are actually antennas. Marked and not marked. Marked and not marked. So guess which one goes where. Um, and let's see. I've seen the videos on how this is done. And it is as easy as they make it look. And one's clockwise to tighten and the other one's counterclockwise to tighten. Probably because they spin different directions. I don't know. Got a little gimbal rubber. Rubber. You got a protector for the protector. And then you actually have the little gimbal clamp, which that 
keeps us figure out how you're going to mount your device, cell phone, whatever you're using to the controller and have it connected. Um, <clears throat> it's going to have you do some firmware update. So go ahead and do that. Get out of the way. Make sure you've charged your battery up to at least 50% uh, and the remote up to at least 50% and your phone up to everything has to be charged enough to where in the middle of your firmware something doesn't die because if one thing dies the whole thing has to start you'll need to connect the remote to the drone while you're doing the um, firmware update as well up with your Mavic Pro screen real nice and pretty then you go ahead and turn on your device boom fancy Gimbal does its little dance. That beautiful sound. Beautiful. Just beautiful. It'll flash all kinds of fun colors. Turning on the remote's the same as turning on the drone. Maybe not quite as beautiful sound there, but it's pretty good. Um, I'm inside. It's rainy. It stinks. But we can still play. Your app will give you all kinds of updates, whether or not there's uh, new firmware. You can go ahead and go into your uh, Academy and your flight simulator. I already did that a little. My bitch about the flight simulator is trying to leave it was like damn near impossible. You click go fly and you get these beautiful, beautiful images. There's my little camera sitting up there. There's you. Look at you seeing yourself. Um, <clears throat> this is ready to go. It says ready to go. It's not lying because you can just take off at this point. I'm gonna just say, let's, let's do it. Do the auto takeoff. Um, it'll take it up to four feet and then hover. I mean, why not? thing I've ever done. Once it got down to a certain point it wouldn't go down any farther until you hold it down and then it goes into landing mode and I was trying to get to land back on the boxes and it kind of missed the box and it came over and, and it attacked me. I'm a, little, I'm a little hurt both physically and emotionally. That's what it did to the box. I don't know how you can see that in the camera but it ate the box up. But I don't see any damage to the blades. kind of had a feeling I was going to do something stupid. Let's see if it actually fits in. Man satchel. Use your little gimbal clip, um, your rubber thingy. I'll just stick that on there when I touch it so that I don't get fingerprints on it. This little thing, it's supposed to be simple. Uh, you gotta wiggle the. It's not quite as. That's not straight. There, it finally got on. Hold this sucker up before it comes alive and attacks me again. And then shove that sucker down in the back. Again, I got my jerry rigged controller, Vulture antennas in, into place. There it goes. I'm supposed to be able to hold four batteries. There's one. There's two. Um, looks like it would hold two more in there, but we still got a remote. It's sticking up a little high. It's not. It's not. It's not exactly working. We'll stick it in there with one battery in a way that doesn't look like it's gonna wobble these around too much. Might want to get some kind of a little protection for it with an actual joystick. That's the entire thing. And you can go dang near anywhere. Have fun flying. And see. There's something cool. I got two batteries. I got one that's almost fully charged and one that's on there charging. So when you actually put on another battery, this thing is supposed to charge the most charged battery first. And it switched over to charging that one. All that packaging actually does have a purpose. It's so that when you want to try and fly your Mavic indoors and you don't know what the, you're doing yet, you can stay protected. So don't throw away all that excess packing material. It's not just 
for protection of the drone, it's for your own protection as well.